This is the first tutorial about the bench turn 7000 lathe and we will see the lathe here. I'm using CNC motion software to show you the lathe in 3D and what we have here you can see is the actual lathe. We have a workpiece inside the chuck. It is held together by the chuck and the chuck is rotating. Now here we have the tool. This is sorry, this is the workpiece. The workpiece is always in the lathe is cylindrical. So if I go 3D, it's a cylinder as opposed to the mill, which is usually a square part. And here we have the tool post and tools. Okay, we have four different tools and the tool, sorry, the tool can move in two axes. This is the Z axis. I'll move it. This is the Z axis and this is the X axis. Okay, so, so, so far you understand that the part is clamped in the chuck and rotating and the tool is moving in two axes x and z let's go a little bit into theory <clears throat> so we have a little drawing here and the red part is the chuck we have the part is clamped in the chuck this part is not workable if you go to the actual lathe you can see here in the verify this gray uh, or a uh, brown part is not workable you cannot uh, make this part turn you cannot make this part okay so i go back to my theory <clears throat> and we have a workpiece with total length of 80 and diameter of 20 inside the chuck. We have a 20 millimeter unusable part in the chuck and our usable part is 60 uh, millimeters in length which is the z-axis and if we have a diameter 20 we are talking about x10 and the tool can move <coughs> in two axes z plus z minus x plus and x minus. Now the tool will come here and cut away the, <clears throat> the part and what will come out on it's cutting only on one side and the other side is because it's rotating and it's its cylinder it will automatically be taken off. What's important here is our 0 x 0 z point. It is at the end of the chuck here which means all our coordinates are at plus coordinates and for example this position here is x 10 and z 60 okay and when the tool comes here it will start cutting away at the workpiece <clears throat> so let's go into our G code so I'll just point here this is the lathe you know what I'll get rid of the lathe put this one program here and make this bigger okay so what we have is the G code <clears throat> I will write the first block G90 M3 S1500 and I'll make a comment <clears throat> which is G90 is absolute coordinates. Absolute coordinate means everything refers to this zero. <clears throat> and then another comment M3 is spindle on and S is RPM 
<coughs> the spindle will turn at uh, the chuck will turn at RPM and the <coughs> part which is held in the chuck will turn at 1500 RPM next line G0 X 15 Z 65 which is where the tool is now if I verify the program you will see the tool is moving to this position this is called the initial tool position that's where we start now we want to make <clears throat> this part now as you see we are cutting away the green part and because it is a cylinder and you can see here the center line everything I cut here will also be cut on the opposite side because it's a cylinder which is turning and the tool will cut away here and automatically will cut away at the other side okay so my goal is to cut and reach x5 and z40 so this is my goal to reach to x5 and z40 so we go to the next line which is we'll make a comment here g0 is rapid movement and x z are final coordinates final coordinates so we want to go now to x 10 z 61 which is just at the diameter and one millimeter away from the workpiece from here we will start to cut now a new G code G1 we will start by cutting to X 9.5 and Z we don't write we won't write Z we go to X 9.5 with F of 100 feed, feed rate so we say that G1 is linear linear movement and F is feed which is in millimeters per minute feed is the movement the speed of movement of the tool so the tool will move from place to place with a speed of 100 millimeters per minute so let's verify this line is going a little bit in and then we can say Z a 45 just to make sure that I'm going to the right place yes we want uh, sorry we go to Z 40 so Z 40 and F 200 we can verify and verify we can see that now it is cutting the first cut as you see it cut here and also on the other side it's going out and then next is x 10 and then we go back to z 61 verify verify you can see this and it's going back to here and then what I can do I can copy this and instead of going to x9.5 I go now to x9 and I'll get rid of these two comments and if I verify now I have two cutting cycles one two they are always the same I will copy 
this one v let's do it like this and instead of 9 I go to 8.5 and I verify verify as you see every step is 0 0.5 millimeters that it is cutting and I don't recommend to make more than 0 0.5 millimeters because you might hurt the tool or hurt the raw material so 0 0.5 millimeters we go at steps of 0 0.5 millimeters this is 8 we say 7.5 and then we say 7 until we reach 5 V and 6.5 6 5.5 and then we go to x5 okay verify verify and now we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten cycles of half a millimeter to reach from ten to five which makes sense now as you see it's easy to copy paste and it saves you a lot of time now to end the program now before we end the program you can see that this looks roughly the same as this drawing which is my plan and this is what happens here now to end the program we write g0 x 15 z 65 we go back to initial position and then we say M30, which is M30 end of program. Okay, now I verify it again. I can make it faster and slower by clicking on these two icons. And we get this as the final product. Now, if we want to see it running on the actual mill, a lathe, we can, we must home the machine of course, and then run tool number one, right, here we go. from this side uh, let's look at a suitable angle for you this way you can see the tool is cutting away 0 0.5 millimeters every step until it will reach 5 millimeters you can see here now it is at x10 and it will go and cut to x8 and start cutting here you can see the line that it's at what's it doing now and here you can see the tool here you can see your x and z Just wait for it to finish. Set X7. Yeah. 
Now, as you can understand, the cutting cycles are repetitive all the time. This is why I use cut and pay, copy and paste because it is repetitive every time I go in by 0 0.5 and go to the same target position. So this is why I use the copy and paste. Makes life a lot easier. Let's see where it is now. We're at 5.5. This is one before last line. There we go, and then it will go back to its initial two position, and we get normal program stop. This is the end of this exercise. We'll get the to exercise two in a minute.